guess it's customary to adjust the microphone. <coughs> Ladies, gentlemen, parents, faculty, Mr. Valentine, my board members, and my dear graduate and seniors. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2017. Before I begin, I'd like to thank all of you who supported these students along their education career to become men and women of success. Today, I stand before you as a personification of proud and happiness. I found myself on this podium experiencing numerous emotions, and I'm certain many of you here empathize with me on that point. First day, and perhaps most obvious, that I am filled with a great sense of happiness and accomplishment. My board, previous principal, staff, faculty, parents and students all together, hand in hand, have put much effort for the last 10 years into being able to stand here today and say that we've become one of the high-performing, blue-ribbon, award-winning school in the area. It was by no means easy, despite all the challenges facing members of our community who managed to work together toward the success of our children. This year again, our school produced 100% graduation rate and 100% college admission rates. In addition, Central Jersey College Prep Charter School is the recipient of the U.S. News Silver Awards two years in a row. Let's give a round of applause for everyone who completed. And we all know that nothing happens by chance. In addition to support from parents, students, and teachers, parents and parents, students, and teachers have much effort collaboratively to make this achievement come true. Our teachers and students took extra steps to go above and beyond. They stayed after hours and came on the weekend to offer extra help to ensure that each child maximizes his or her potential to learn. And now these students sitting in front of us are the living proof of this hard work, dedication, collaboration, and enthusiasm. Please join me recognizing CJCP teachers. I have to mention our PTSO as well. Our PTSO tireless to work together for many events to support our students beyond the classroom setting. The PTSO board and parents who, who assisted dedicated their time and energy to help create and maintain a setting where our children felt safe, nurtured, flourished, and excelled. This is how we have become a brand of success. This is how we have become a family united and standing together. We all have only one mission to achieve, to teach our children to be lifelong learners wherever, whenever. Yes, it was that mission, not just to educate men, but to cultivate a good man, strong man, and upright man. So graduates, the experience you have shared at CJCP should give you a hope. The future we share should give you hope. Give you hope. Your generation is uniquely poised for success, unlike any generation that came before it. But that doesn't mean that we don't have work to do. You are graduating into a globally competitive job market. Now your competitors are not only your peers around you, they are also it is also anyone on the other side of the world. So every day you have to work harder than ever. Now I will give you some suggestions that I think you'll benefit from practice. One, don't fear, mis don't fear mistakes or failure. Mistakes mean you're getting out there and trying things. But learn from your own mistakes and mistakes of, mistakes of others. And do not repeat them. 
As we all know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Number two, be wise because the world needs more wisdom and if you cannot be wise, be around people who are wise and then just behave like that. <laughs> and remember, the world is a dangerous place to live, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. Number three, be true human beings in not only the physical aspect of your existence, but also in the attraction of your spirit to happiness of others. For this reason, true love of others around you doesn't happen right away. It's a struggle and an ever-growing process. It develops after you have gone through many ups and downs, when you have suffered together, cried together, and laughed together. And remember, only a life lived for others is a life, is a life worthwhile. Number two, four, take action. Every story you have ever connected with, every leader you, you have ever admired, every little thing that you, are, you have ever accomplished is the result of taking action. You have a choice. You can either be a passive victim of circumstances or you can be the active hero of your own life. So be an active hero and useful for yourself and for people around you. Number five, don't be jealous. Whenever you come across someone who is better or more successful than you are, you can react either with jealousy or with emulation. Envy is the pain that you feel because others have good things. Emulation is the pain that you feel because you yourself do not have them. This is a subtle but critical difference. Unlike envy, which is useless at best and self-defeating at worst, emulation is a good thing because it makes us to take steps towards securing good things, not only material wealth, but also high level of human characteristics and values. One last reminder, always remember that success is not going to come quickly and easily. But if you strive to do what's right, if you work harder and dream bigger, if you set an example in your own life and do your part to help meet the challenges of your time, then I am confident that together you will continue the never-ending task of perfecting yourself and your community. Congratulations, the young class of 2017. God bless you. We bring keynote speakers who are successful in what they're doing. And this year, we have a distinguished speaker. And I'd like to turn it over to Stephanie Bennett to introduce our...